Okay, let's get this party started. I know it's been a couple weeks since I came on here, but I decided to come on again. This time I decided to make some Egg McMuffins that are not McDonald's, some breakfast tacos, taco bowls with ground turkey and quinoa and beans, three salads, and then my grand finale tater tot casserole. We're gonna start out with our beans. I do this usually the night before I start meal prepping. That way when I'm ready to meal prep, the beans are already ready to go and I don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna start out with our beans. I added the whole bag of beans to the crock pot and I basically filled it up to the top with water because the beans are going to soak up majority of this liquid. I put all kinds of spices in it because beans which by themselves are pretty bland. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take season all. Then I'm gonna take some taco seasoning because I'm going to use these beans for tacos. Then I'm gonna add some garlic, Creole seasoning, some paprika, some basil. I'm just gonna stir this up and let this set on a low and let it sit overnight. our quinoa. I'm going to take two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to let it set and we're going to start on our breakfast. Like you guys all know, I do my eggs in the oven because it's the quickest way to make them if you want them a set shape. After I put it in the oven and let it cook, I'm going to take this cup and make rounds for it. These rounds will be for the egg muffin. The rest of this eggs is going to be for my breakfast tacos. There's no reason to waste the rest of this egg, these eggs. Might as well just cook them or leave them and add them to some tacos with some beans and stuff. I'm just getting everything ready for my breakfast. It's going to be the eggs, some onion, a sausage patty, bacon, and an English muffin. And I'm going to add a little bit of cheese later on. Now I'm just getting everything ready. All I have to do is do is an assembly line. Put this, the English muffins in. I like having breakfast ahead of time because it takes all the guesswork about what I'm going to eat during the during the day or during breakfast. When I wake up in the morning, I do not want to think. This is just a little bit of, I'd say about an eighth of a cup, not even an eighth of a cup of cheese. But there's my five breakfasts for English muffins. This is for my breakfast tacos. Now what I want to do with breakfast tacos is I'm going to warm everything up and then eventually break down the bacon and the sausage to fit into the tacos. And that's breakfast. Okay, let's get our salads ready. This is a protein packed salad that is a vegetarian. I, the only thing that's on here that's not vegetarian, I would think is the feta cheese. You're gonna need some lettuce. I did this, um, this kind of lettuce, and I just cut it up into bite-sized pieces and add them to the meal prep containers.
I also added some cabbage, some cilantro, shredded carrots, cucumber, radishes, onion, Kalamata olives, and some tomatoes. This is the feta cheese that I added. And of course I'm washing my hands after I'm using all that cheese. Feta cheese can be sticky and not so fun on your hands. The last thing I'm going to add is the chickpeas. Like I said, this the only thing that on here that would not be vegetarian is the feta cheese, and you can substitute this with vegan cheese if you want to. And there's my salads for three days out of the week. So the rest of the days, I'm going to have some bean, rice, turkey, and cheese burritos. I just cooked the turkey on the stove, and then I'm going to add the quinoa. the beans and then I'm going to add the turkey last but not least I'm going to add a little bit of cheese when it comes time to eating this I'm going to grab a tortilla and mix it all up make a burrito Here's the grand finale. This turned out absolutely amazing. This is the tater tot casserole. I added two cans of cream of mushroom. Now, I added water to this, but I would not recommend adding water or any anything to this. If you wanted more, a little bit more, then I would definitely add another can. So the spices I'm going to use is Creole seasoning, salt and pepper, and some garlic. I'm also going to add a half a cup of cheese. The rest of this two pounds of cooked turkey meat. And then a half a cup of onions. Now you can always add more onions and more chicken. I probably will do that next time. Um, So to the bottom of the pan, you want to make sure that the pan is nice and greased. Then you're going to add your tater tots. Now I only had a small bag, so I didn't actually line it up like you normally would. And then I'm going to add the, the mixture that I cooked on the stove. Make sure every single one of those tater tots are nice and covered. And then I'm going to add more, the rest of those tater tots to the, to the top of the pan. Now, if I had more tater tots, I would have made it look a little bit more presentable, but I didn't have any, very many tater tots. 
I'm gonna put that in the oven at 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes. When it's coming after that, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put, add some cheese, put it in for another 10 minutes, and there you have it. Once it's nice and cool and uh, no longer hot, I'm going to add it to a meal prep container. And there you have it. Here's everything we cooked today. Here's our English muffin egg sandwiches. Our ingredients for our breakfast tacos. Our salads. Our burrito mixtures. Now you can even just put this as a bowl. You don't even have to add the tortilla. And finally, last but not least, our tater tot casserole. I added a little bit of salads because I didn't think tater tot casserole would be enough. So I just added a side salad. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there during these perilous times. Remember to show grace and mercy. Forgive one another. In the description box below, you will find the links to the recipes. Just click the link and it will either take you to my drive where you can download it or it will take you to the website where I found the recipe. If you like this video, hit the like button and comment down below. I always love hearing your comments. Hit subscribe and the bell icon down below to be notified anytime I upload new content. My name is Michelle. This is My Meaningful Life. Have a great day.